Welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me, where today I'm reviewing the anime film Miss Hokusai, a recent anime film about the daughter of the legendary artist Hokusai and her experiences in kind of life in general back in the 1800s in Japan. First off, you have to understand, A, this is about Hokusai's daughter. It turns out she actually drew uh, much of Hokusai's actual artwork. She lived with him, and he was very much devoted to his painting and didn't necessarily, you know, um, fulfill all of his obligations as a uh, person in general. And needed someone to look after him, and so she did that, but also picked up how to draw and would either make or finish some of his commissions for him. Importantly, this is an art house film. It's not an action film. Uh, it is reasonably historically accurate and, you know, as a biopic. It is more about what that time was like in Japan, the early to mid 1800s, uh, actually the mid 1800s in Japan when things were changing, and where society was um, um, often a difficult place for certain people. There were a lot of expectations on people, particularly artists and particularly fathers. And this film is about what it is like living in that environment. Uh, there, I don't think it's a spoiler to say that there's not much in the way of a giant action plot here. You know, nobody fights dragons in this, uh, except possibly of the sort of internal, you know, kind. Um, so, yeah, this is about living in a particular moment, again, early 1800s, not made it, actually, in Japan as an artist with somebody who is a complicated figure, Hokusai was obsessed and difficult to live with in a lot of ways. And so this film explores that. The animation as such is lovely um, and effective, but not flashy. Hokusai is famous for his restraint and his ability to communicate so much in such simple lines and simple artwork. So while this absolutely has all of the um, the talent, all the skill of a high quality Japanese you know, animated film, it's not flashy, it's not explosive. Um, instead, it is about these quiet everyday moments. And it's about people living with each other and just life and what you do in life. Again, there's essentially no action, there's very little in the way of romance. There's a little comedy, but it's mostly a drama about living and life. And if you approach it from that perspective, I think you'll find it very rewarding. There is symbolism. I'll go far as to say there's a little magical realism in the film because they are dealing with art. They're dealing with the thing that people are passionate about, people care about, that change people. Seeing a work of art can change you as a person. Will Miss Hokusai change you as a person? Maybe not. It is about how people live. And as such, it does an admirable job of getting that across. Um, again, I think if you come into this with a, an open mind, and the willingness to just sit back and immerse yourself in someone else's life for a little while, you will be richly rewarded with a beautiful film about people, about people who feel like real people. It is a thing that I found very rewarding. I hope you do too.